Hi, my name is Bert Boeland and this is Bert's Screencast of the Day and today I want to talk about Twitter. Mm, Twitter, isn't that yesterday's news? Mm, in fact it is, yeah. I registered in April 2007. I have, I think, 121,000 tweets, about 3,000 followers, that fluctuates a bit. And I want to talk about not as much about Twitter, but about um, tooling around Twitter. So, for example, this is a tweet I recently did and got some traction. And this is a bit fast forwarded um, and the number of tweets if you go to analytics. So if you go to analytics, you will find a, a link towards uh, and towards who's watching it. Due to the fact that Boris uh, retweeted it, it got a, some traction and uh, got a popular tweet. So if you go to analytics.twitter.com, you have your own um, uh, um, analytics for Twitter. <laughs> Uh, so you see your number of tweets, your number of impressions, uh, how many people have watched your profile, etc. But there's a lot of valuable information. It's per month, so the, the highlights per month um, uh, with media and etc. So uh, how many people every month on your profile. But if you go deeper, you also have um, you also have the tweets per day, um, how many impressions, interactions, etc. In nice graphs, there's a lot of data out there. So that's good to know. Same for your number of followers and more interesting. So this is normally a line that's growing, but more interesting. Uh, what the people, the people that are following you, what's them, their, uh, in, um, their interest. So open source, technology, web design, entrepreneurship, etc. That's all here. What, um, what provider they're using. Lots of data. If you use Twitter cards, I haven't used it on this account, but I've used it on a commercial account. Um, you could have information there as well and some additional things. So there are other sites as well. This one is actually from Boris. Here you can see, for example, your number of followers versus the number of following. Um, and if you have a paid account, you get more data. There's a lot of data here as well. Um, then I usually track my unfollowers. So uh, who dot unfollowed me and my new followers so that's good to see and if somebody's not following me i usually unfollow them as well so uh, this one is unfollowed as well so here we have friend of foe um, a friend of follower.com friend of follow.com and here you can see uh, who's not following you back so for example he's a famous guy that is he's a famous guy so i'm fine with he's not following me and you can select by last tweet date for example so if you go to the third page, you'll find people here that haven't tweeted for years. It's contacted or unknown. I'm not following back. This one, for example, not following back. This one, PHP developer that hasn't tweeted in two years. Unfollow. Yeah, Rob Hongrijp, I'm not going to unfollow you. Um, so, and the same goes through for Google Oculus. Um, but Wim lags, hmm, not in a year, unfollow. So other data. Um, I have think up uh, at social.boeland.com and if you log in, you get uh, all kinds of dashboards. You can't log in, of course, I can. Um, this is an open source program and it shows all kinds of data about you. <coughs> not, only, not only Twitter, but it combines it with, uh, uh, with other uh, stuff like, here you go. Foursquare, uh, Instagram, um, a couple of those. And actually you can make an account or download it. Uh, it's free for 14 days, there, after that it's paid, or you download it. I don't know where the download link is, but it's still open source, it's by Gina. Gina is uh, cool, Gina is often featured in um, all kinds of tweets, uh, this week in technology uh, um, 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 podcast. So somewhere here is the but you have to look for it yourself, where you can download the source on GitLab. So, I hope you like this uh, uh, screencast. If so, do give us a thumbs up. Uh, feedback is appreciated. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care.